Is he? Tr is what was that? Is he in here? What the heck? What? What is this? That was a fire extinguisher? What? What even happened? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the second part of the tutorial on the Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 1.5. We failed in the Hallow stream, but we're doing it now. Internet doesn't matter because this is a recording. Now, in the previous video, I showed you the entire process of getting to this room, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is gather the five candies from around the map. Now, the only objects you're going to need to get places are the crowbar and the generator and wire, but I mean, it's really gonna be helpful to have like the grappling hook or the fire extinguisher, especially because the guest will most likely be hot on our butts. So let's get going. All right, so I loaded back from a save from the previous video where I've got everything, but sadly it was before I opened the door. So now we're just going to real quickly, oh shoot, he's already here. Now we're just going to real quickly unlock this and get it set up for next time. So that all we have to worry about right now is getting our precious candies, because that's what Halloween's about. We're not going to need this alarm clock, so we can drop that, oh, that was the grappling hook. That's great. Now we're going to want to get inside and grab the generator. So let's let go and get inside real quick. He's finally chilled out. Let's grab the generator and wire. There we go. Now we can just book it right out of here. So let's do that. Just sprint through the upstairs. All right, let's get off the property. And now I'm gonna show you real quickly where all the candies are. All right, so first you're just gonna head over this way through this obvious hallway and right over this fence is where the first candy's going to be. This is the one that you need the generator for. So as you can see, it's off the ground. So you can go in through the entrance or you can just climb up through the ground. Now, there's this locked gate here with a fridge inside. That's got the candy in it. And you've got this wire running from here up to this plug. Now there's no way to reach with the plug if you set the generator anywhere but upstairs. There's that little notch right there, okay? All right, so you're gonna wanna hop right up here and just get to the second floor. All right, now once we're up here, we can take our generator and we're just gonna place it right here. Make sure it's got plenty of gas. Yeah, we are good. And then we're gonna plug one side in and just drop the other side through this hole. Okay, now let's turn on the generator because it'd be pretty useless if it wasn't on. Even though it's super obnoxious. Now you're gonna wanna get up here. You're gonna wanna jump out, grab onto this wire and just swing yourself up, plug it in. All right, now let's get back up in there. Sweet, now this gate's working. Let's open this fridge, grab ourselves the candy. Now we've got ourselves a Chudman's bar. That was my personal favorite growing up. Delicious. Creamy nougat covered in a mustard pretzel. Delicious. All right, so this is the house we were just at, hopped over the fence, and now I'm just gonna head all the way out to the furthest reaches to just show you that candy because it's, it's the only other one you're going to need a special object for. All right, here it is right here. Oh, what's up, kitty? All right, so now that you're here, you want to grab the crowbar and pry at least two of these boards off. You can pry off all three, or you can just crouch right under this one. Come on, come on. Okay, you are off. This is another one that gets stuck. That's a super irritating bug. It doesn't really do anything. It just makes you think you failed. Now hop on top of this bookshelf here, and you want to pry these boards off. You don't really need to pry off more than one, and you see this is going to fall through. And I didn't even realize it the first time, but the candy falls with it. So grab this eyeball lollipop that was a close second on the candy scale from my youth all right and now we actually don't need the crowbar let's hold on to it just in case he somehow does something to us i don't know it's it's very useful for throwing at him it actually i feel like it's easier to throw at the guest while you're getting pulled than most objects so you're going to want to hop up on top of this roof and anyway it doesn't really matter how you do it you can totally parkour up here but i'm just going to fly to make it easier now there's a hole in the roof to get to the second floor and in this cabinet right here, it's the only one with anything in it. As you can see, you're going to want to grab the... What is it? It's a Lafnan. Ooh. Yeah, Lafnans were never my thing. Straight across from here, you're going to see this house right here. There's going to be another piece of candy. And the very tippity top. You can totally enter this house through the bottom right here. It doesn't really matter. Especially because you can stand on this little bit right here. Keep flying. The vault's up here. And honestly, it might be better to not use the grappling hook because it can just screw you suddenly. And now we have, we have the Rebmulda. Ooh, the triangle-shaped candy. 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I never had a red muda growing up. And then head and back, this house right across from the guests, near this vacant lot with the overgrown grass is the final candy. It's the easiest one to get. I believe it's the first one you're supposed to get. So just run up here, and you're just gonna find it sitting in here. Just keep climbing. All right, get all the way up here, and ah, here we are. We have the DB, my favorite candy as of right now. It looks like it's Doritos. That's what it is. It's a Dorito bar. That's what the DB stands for. Now that we've got all the candies, we can head up to the already open hatch. All right, this makes it so much easier if you just do all that ahead of time instead of trying to do it all at once. And now that we've made it in here, we can offer our candy to the two remaining children. Where's the third? Okay, let's set this in there. There's one. There's two, sort of. There we go. Oh, jeez. They're gone and just their shoes? Stop it. Can we go through the door? Jeez, what was that on the ground? There was something on the ground. I can't save you, dude. I'm sorry, I can't save you. Quit pounding. You're scaring... There was the costume. <gasps> oh, what? Okay, that's me. I'm just totally cool with that. I just watched, you know, just watched something horrifying. Kids were trapped and possibly murdered. Old guys trapped. And I just... Oh. Well, it's time to quit. No, no candy yet. Okay, that's okay. What? Someone's at the door and it just says, how is your weather? It's cold, man. It's so cold. My hands are shaking from fear and cold. So there it is, guys. That's the entire game in completion. That does not mean there are other secrets. I have found some, including a camera. Not the kind of camera that you survey with. It's not a surveillance camera. It's a picture taking camera. I found it and I will show you where that is in the future. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.